Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at um, exporting your skin weights and then bringing them back in. Now, uh, this is something that uh, happens all the time and I know it's uh, counterintuitive because you don't want to lose all the time you spent weighting your mesh. So, uh, let's just get straight to it. So, you definitely want to make sure that you are at zero, zero, zero when you do this. Um, so we want to check the skeleton. Um, let's select the hierarchy and we just want to make sure that everything's zeroed out and um, it appears to be so. Uh, note that uh, a branch can have um, up to three numbers but um, a child is only going to have a translated x which is an offset in the x direction. Okay, now, uh, why would you want to export your weights? Well, some people um, have had, so if we go to um, display, and if we go to transform display, local rotation axes, and I have to select um, the whole hierarchy when I do that. Um, and I made a, I, I put this on my shelf, because I do it a lot. Okay, so you want to make sure that uh, Z's are, you know, going in the same direction for legs. Uh, it's fine if they go in a different direction for arms. Um, for the spine, definitely want the Z's going in the same direction. And then uh, there are times where your X is maybe coming up this way. Um, you might want to change it. Um, there was a student who, um, in the settings, had the, um, so... If you go to settings, um, let's see, windows, settings, preferences, uh, if we go to display, settings, okay, yeah, so by default Maya is Y up, um, Unreal is Z up, now you can export anything into Unreal if you're using Y up, but the student setting was on Z up, and so um, they're their Z's were kind of placed in the wrong direct, um, direction. So let's, uh, let's go to component mode, uh, F8, and then I'm going to turn my local rotation axes off and on. I made a script for those, but it's just uh, local rotation axes. So, you know, it's making them a little bit bigger so you can see them. Um, so we've got our X going back this way for one arm and coming forward this way from an other, our other arm. Um, in the uh, example, one of the examples I saw today during class, the Z was going straight up and that caused rotational um, issues. So um, that's actually a subject for another time, uh, but I will be talking about that. Okay, so I'm going to turn these off. Um, back to component mode, turn the taxi rotation axis off and this is a toggle so turn that off on the hips okay so uh, what we do uh, select the geometry and we're going to go to deform and we're going to go to export weights now there's another place where you can import and export weights but uh, the place where you're going to want to do what is here under deform export weights and we'll export and then import Okay, so I created, um, I put those buttons on my shelf. So let's go to export. Okay, so it's going to look at the skin cluster uh, that's on this model, which is called skin cluster one. And so we're gonna need a file name for it. So what we're gonna do, first of all, let's browse to, let's go here to, um, where I'm working. Okay, so under examples, I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it G, GB Weights. Save. Okay. Uh, and then I've got a file. And so then it's going to give it a file name, um, and so we will 
just give it that file name. Okay, so we'll just say export. Okay, so now let's go into that directory and take a look at it. <clears throat> so we've got uh, classes, examples. Okay, so we have a folder, or actually, we have, um, so this is just going to be a directory. Uh, or not a directory, I'm sorry. It's just going to be a file um, showing the link. So if we were to come in here to uh, edit Notepad++, it's got the weights of each vertice and where it's, um, where it's saved. So that's really cool. All right. So weights are exported. So now what I can do is go ahead and delete them. However, you want to make sure that you are at, um, everything is zeroed out. So, and I always make sure when I'm doing an, um, a skin weighting animation that I'm always um, zeroed out here with the skeleton um, so that everything is zeroed. So a branch, you can have a different uh, location, but the children, right here's a branch. It's, so it's got up to three translate values, same thing with the hips, up to three translate values, but children um, should just have the one value in X. Okay, so that's how you know you're all zeroed out. Okay, so now that it's zeroed out, we're going to select the model. Um, and we are going to go to edit, delete by type, history. Okay, so um, I've got an icon for that here. Uh, delete by type, history. So whatever pose you're in, um, if you delete history, it's going to be um, the, the skeleton, will, or pardon me, the model will be in that pose. You want to make sure you're at zero. Okay, so if we run the animation, we can see that the, it's no longer attached. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select the skeleton again and the geometry again, and we're going to come in and we're going to go to skin, bind skin, and I'm just going to do this, apply and close. Okay, so now the skin is bound, but it's not going to be uh, perfect. Um, so now we're going to select the geometry and now we're going to go to import weights and again that's under deform um, import weights. Okay so we're going to go in again and we're going to find the let's go to my computer where I stuck it glasses ring examples. So this is the um, weights. It's an XML file. Okay, so let's select that. Open. And so these were all in an index in the XML file, so this is what we're going to use. So let's import and run this. And so now our weights have been loaded and saved. Okay, so that's going to come in handy when you run into issues and a few like maybe you needed to re-mirror something or you know, whatever. Um, deleting history will... <clears throat> so if we delete the history like right here, so it's going to freeze your model in that position. So it's not something you want to do. You want to make sure you are um, at zero or like just like almost everything else in rigging. It's got to be at zero. Okay, uh, I hope this was helpful. Have a nice day. Bye.